All right, we're here for Yurt Life chimney install. And in order to install a chimney in a yurt, you gotta have a stove of some sort. If you're gonna use a wood burning stove, then you need all the chimney parts that are gonna be applicable to that particular wood stove. This is the stove we're using. I don't have the model number offhand but the paperwork's right inside. So all the parts just came in, triple wall stainless chimney. Uh, in order to put the chimney up, you e either need a post or need to build some type of cribbing where the chimney comes out of the yurt. Now the chimney comes out of the yurt in a specific spot, but before we get to that, you're gonna need an out through the wall wood stove chimney kit and you're going to need the, the appropriate flashing this flashing goes on the outside and this piece here is the interior frat flashing so whoa if you could see Mateo's cutting through right now the yurt but if you look at uh, The lattice here we had to cut out a triangle in the lattice this is how you have to do it for all chimneys because you want to have a couple of inches at least two inches from any wood from the chimney parts and so that's what we're trying to achieve here now the flashing allows you to cut the yurt material two three even four inches away from where the chimney is going to be going through and that gives you that heat back barrier that you're going to need because you don't want to light your yurt on fire. That's probably a bad idea. Bullseye. So first piece is out. We're going to cut a hole through here and we'll start assembling the chimney and bring you along. We've got the box out of the yurt, everything flashed up, it's not fully secured and screwed in, but the chimney is put on the first crossbar, we're going to do another three feet, and then the spark arrestor, and it is bomber. Interesting is that you, they give you almost no instructions with any chimney system on like what you have to do. They gave you no instructions. Well, they give you this, this picture. Yeah, it's like, this is this is from the stove. That's what you got to work with. That's, that's all they gave you. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a piece of paper. But, so we got it together. And now we'll take you inside of the stainless steel trippy hole. Wow. Yeah. That, that, was... that is like, uh-oh. They're getting at it. So we're going to finish the exterior chimney stuff. And then we'll... Put some pavers down, install the stove, and light a fire. They're the brothers. All right, we got this baby completely up with the spark arrestor. Um, all of the wall straps are in. It is solid. Solid. You can climb up these like a ladder if you wanted to. So we've got that in. We've got the box in. We managed to rig this double wall pipe with some single wall connectors into the stove. And this is just a, to get him started. It's a little too far out in the yurt here, right? Yeah, a little bit too. So long. what we're gonna do is get a three foot piece and move it in here and put, it has no flue, so we need to put a flue in. So we'll be able to put a flue in with the three foot double wall and we'll get the correct double wall to single wall um, attachments there but that's the stove do we know what the name is the brand high flame incorporated there it is high flame, high incorporated. flame America incorporated. and we're about to start the first fire one match that wasn't very smooth was it take two take two and what's the name of the company high flame America high flame America the first fire in the chimney and we're using Ponderosa needles as Ponderosa the base needles. and the TP technique. TP weepy. 
That looks like no smoke coming in. No, nothing. It's pulling good. Beautiful. Wow. Now that's a fire. Rager. Nothing. You're going to be... a great draw, man. That's a sweet angle. You're going to be warm tonight. Oh, yeah. 